Yo, what's going on, you guys? I'm Flavart. We're back here on Fortnite, taking a look at one of your Battle Pass challenges here for Season 8. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the challenge, which is going to be to launch through flaming hoops with a cannon. Now, to complete this challenge, you need to go and to launch yourself through three flaming hoops. But the best way to actually find these flaming hoops are nearby locations of pirate camps. And so I'm going to be giving you guys all seven of the locations of those pirate camps here on Fortnite, as well as where the locations of those flaming hoops are, and how you guys can relatively be able to go and get your through the flaming hoop with a cannon of course one of the easier ways to do it is if you guys just go and you know drag the cannon with you build up or something like that and then just shoot yourself pretty much straight through it and make it easier for yourself you guys can do that but if you guys want to shoot yourself through the pirate camp then in this video you guys can be able to see exactly how I do it the angles I do it and then you guys are gonna be able to practice or at least try to attempt it when you guys are gonna be doing this challenge for yourself so starting off at our first location we're gonna be going over to lazy lagoon as you guys know nearby there there is a pirate camp just off to the shore side kind of near the the edge of the map there also for this flaming hoop you're gonna be able to see it pretty much at the top of the boat there on top of lazy lagoon so all you're going to do here is go to the pirate camp get onto the cannon closest to the corner there that actually goes towards and actually is pretty much almost aiming at the fire hoop here or you know the flaming hoop you guys want to go and aim it directly at it and then go and aim much higher because you guys got to remember that when you guys are using the cannonball or you know the cannon itself whether you guys are shooting yourself out of it or shooting a cannonball that there is a major arc for it in distance so if something is super far away you do have to aim much higher so that you guys can actually go and you know arc it downward and actually hit this and you guys can be able to see that that I actually do that here on my first try getting into this flaming hoop for the second location you're gonna be able to find this over near the pirate camp that's on the other side of the volcano basically on the entrance side where all the lava spews out and it's a kind of facing towards dusty divot and retail row you're gonna want to go and head on over to this pirate camp get onto the top part of it where all four of those cannons are and pick the one that is in the closest corner towards that's actually facing the flaming hoop and then from here I'm actually going to show you an example of what happens if you guys think you guys can actually just use the cannon from the pirate camp and just go straight or be even be a little bit above the ring you're going to see that the arc is way too hard on this and it's actually going to go right down and I'm going to miss this flaming hoop completely so when I do it on my second try you're going to be able to see that I'm going to aim a much higher than this one and you'll be able to see that I actually make it on my second try now for the third location you're going to be able to find your next flaming hoop near Pleasant Park and the pirate camp is going to be over at the abandoned house the abandoned mansion whatever you guys want to call it you guys can head all the way to the top and when you guys get there you're going to be able to find a cannonball that's facing pretty much in the same direction as where that flaming hoop is all you got to do is break down you know the barrier the little window that it has also break the top part because sometimes it seems that you know the cannonballs seem to get a little bit glitchy when you actually get up here if there's like extra obstacles in the way so i tend to go and break things that happen to you know be in front of it and you know it might actually mess up the trajectory and everything like that but you're going to see that there is going to be a little bit of a tree in the way a very tall tree so what you want to do for this one is try to just aim where I'm aiming just above the longest and highest tree branch there once you guys shoot this one it should pretty much give you guys the direct center of this flaming hoop and then from there you guys are gonna be good to go now of course like I mentioned for this challenge you only need to complete three of these locations and three of these flaming hoops to get this challenge done but of course some of them are a little bit harder than the others and you guys can definitely choose which ones you guys want to go to so I am still gonna show you guys the other remaining four among the seven total locations you guys can go to and you guys can pick and choose which one you guys want to go to go and attempt and if you guys happen to be near it you guys can go and attempt it while you guys are playing your matches out so for the next location you're going to be able to find a flaming hoop over in front of loot lake this pirate camp is going to be just in front of that giant mountain that's just kind of on the offset side kind of near the pirate camp itself so here you're going to be able to go into the pirate camp you're going to go and take the cannon that's facing the fire ring or the uh, flaming hoop if you guys want to call it that as well you're going to go and take this one here and of course this one i actually found to be one of the hardest ones to do because it's actually a lot further than I expected so on my first try you're going to see that I aim just higher than it and I still ended up landing very very short and then on my second attempt here you're going to be able to see that I had to go and aim much much higher to actually get the proper trajectory so that I can actually go and get into this hoop I would highly suggest not to go for this one unless you guys happen to just be nearby you guys want to go and attempt it or if you guys are going to decide to go and actually drag the actual cannonball out drag it all the way to the hoop and then make it easier for yourself but if you guys are trying to do it from the pirate camp this might not be one of the ones that you want to go for it's actually really far and uh, the the height on this is kind of particular and you guys might get frustrated trying to go for this one for the next location you guys can go over to greasy grove or the ice over to greasy grove there is a pirate camp over there you're gonna be able to see that just on top of the blacktop building there in greasy grove you're gonna be able to find your flaming hoop you guys can go to the pirate camp go and take the cannon facing the 
flaming hoop and then you guys are going to see that here i messed up because i kind of didn't really you know figure out the trajectory on this one but if you guys see on my second attempt here what i basically did is i used the actual hp bar of the cannonball here or the cannon itself it has 800 hp i you basically use the bar kind of as a measurement tool to see the distance of how far i'm going to be able to use it for so you guys can see that pretty much if you guys do the same way i do it here where i line up that top of the hp bar with half of the circle of the actual flaming hoop and then you shoot you guys should be able to go right through this flaming hoop it's going to be pretty easy if you guys do it this way for your next location you're going to be able to find the flaming hoop near salty springs and fatal fields this one's going to be on the fatal field side for the pirate camp you guys are going to be able to find that on the big mountaintop it used to be called like grandma's house and stuff like that but this one's actually one of the simpler ones to go for if you guys happen to be in the area for completing this challenge so you guys can actually go take the cannonball here aim up just a little bit higher you guys are going to be able to see it here it's really not too far off you're still going to be able to see the actual flaming hoop and then go and shoot and you guys are going to go directly through the middle the center of this flaming hoop and that's going to be an easy one to go and then for the last location that you guys can go to this one's going to be in the paradise palms region you're going to be able to find this pirate camp over at the broken bridge and the flaming hoop is going to be towards one of these mountaintops here as you guys can see when i get to this pirate camp all you got to do for this one is to actually go and use again you're going to be using like the hp bar of the cannonball here so what you're going to want to do is line up the top of your hp bar of the cannonball to the top of the actual flaming hoop when you guys connect that you're going to be able to see that it's properly aligned from there all you have to do is shoot yourself straight up into the sky and then you should arc right into the flaming hoop that you guys got to go for and that's going to go and complete off these challenges and with that that's going to about wrap it up for today's video and of course if you guys are new here and you guys might not know we do stream the fortnite challenges every single week when they do come out and usually they come around 10 or 10 to 30 a.m eastern time and i should be live by then so if you guys are watching this video right now you guys can go down the description below you guys can come to the channel and come see if i am alive Live streaming we stream it here on youtube as well as over on twitch twitch.tv slash flip arts live everything you need to know is gonna be in the description below but again hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did remember to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already turn on post notifications if you're on the channel hitting that bell icon next to the subscribe button also follow me on twitter to stay up to date with everything going on regarding my videos my channel my streams and myself thank you guys again for watching catch you on the flip side arts out Thanks.